morning students in today's class we are going to discuss about theories of acid and bases in theories of acids and bases we have three theories they are arrhenius theory lowry bronsted theory and then lewis theory now let us discuss these theories one by one first we shall take arrhenius theory what is arrhenius theory is according to arrhenius theory if the substance donate substance donate h plus ion or proton in aqueous solution is called acid so here we could keep it in mind in aqueous solution here we are taking the substance in water then if the substance donate hydroxide ion in aqueous solution then it is called base now we know what is acids and bases according to arrhenius theory if it is acid means the substance should donate hydrogen ion or proton in aqueous solution then it is called acid then if the substance donate hydroxide ion in aqueous solution then the substance is called basic or base let us discuss this acids and bases of arrhenius theory using an example we take hydrogen chloride we take this hydrogen chloride in aqueous solution that is in water it dissociate and give h plus ion and cl minus ion in aqueous solution so that this h plus ion is called acid likewise if we take another example h2 is a four so in aqueous solution it will dissociate and will give 2h plus ion and so for 2 minus in aqueous solution therefore sulfuric acid is acidic or acid here the another one example you can take sodium hydroxide in aqueous solution this sodium in water it dissociates and it give na plus and oh minus in aqueous solution therefore sodium hydroxide dissociate and give hydroxide ion in water so the sodium hydroxide is a base sodium hydroxide is a base sulfuric acid and hydrogen chloride or acids now if the hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid is combined with water or dissociated in the presence of water what happens actually is that 
we know there is an oxygen in water molecule here to take if hydrogen chloride in aqueous solution that is hydrochloric acid in water this H plus dissociated H plus combines with water molecule and gives H three O plus and Cl minus. Actually, so this is what happening in when we dissolve hydrochloric acid in when you are taking hydrochloric acid in water and if it is NaOH in water that gives Na plus Cl minus in addition to this there is a presence of sorry Cl not Cl minus OH minus plus H2 so it donates H plus and it donates it donates hydroxide ion and HCl donates um, H plus ion here in this H3O plus ion is called hydronium ion how it uh, this hydronium ion forms if you take water molecule the actual the section of water molecule is bent shape here we have an oxygen in this there are two hydrogens are attached there are two lone pairs of electron and oxygen in water molecule here these two, two lone pairs of electron will be given to electron deficient group that is proton and forms this that we have and this hydrogen uh, Oxygen water molecule donates lone pairs of electron to this and forms. If it gives lone pairs of electron to the H plus ion, it becomes positive. So this is called H3. Uh, sorry, that is H3 O plus ion. This is called hydronium ion. And now there are, so we know what is um, acids according to Arrhenius theory and bases according to Arrhenius theory. As it means, if the substance donate proton in aqueous solution, then it is called acid. If the substance donate hydroxide ion in aqueous solution, then it is called base. There are some of the examples for acids and bases of Arrhenius theory. Uh, we, also, we saw that the HCl already, uh, hydrochloric acid, H2, SO4, and also we have some examples phosphoric acid, H3, SO4, because here uh, there are, it is able, uh, able to, um, there are three hydrogens, and then carbonic acid, H2CO3, and acetic acid, and etc. These are all arrhenius acids and then some more examples for arrhenius bases are um, already we have discussed about sodium hydroxide and some more examples we have lithium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide and so on which goes up so these are all some of the examples for arrhenius acids and arrhenius bases now we have discussed uh, about arrhenius acids and arrhenius bases but the arrhenius acids and bases um, one, uh, so they are only applicable in aqueous solution that is a limitation of uh, Arrhenius theory uh, that is according to this theory 
if uh, uh, we have HCl acid, that is HCl acid, this HCl is acid, act as acid only in aqueous solution, but not in benzene, even though it gives H plus uh, in benzene, it is not act as acid. So, it is a major uh, limitation of uh, Arrhenius theory. So, then we are uh, then moving into the Lowry Bronsted theory or the Lowry Bronsted concept on acids and now Lowry Bronsted concept or Lowry Bronsted theory of acids and bases according to this theory we know that Arrhenius theory is only limited to the substance present in aqueous solution. It is applicable only in aqueous solution, Arrhenius theory on acids or the bases. So that we should move into the another theory to fulfill this. Uh, that is Lowry and Bronsted theory. According to this, uh, this theory, the same trend is followed uh, with respect to acid, what, what we said in um, Arrhenius theory. Here, acid means if the substance donate the H plus ion, if it is substance donate H plus ion, then it is called acid and if the substance accept Except H plus ion, then it is called base. According to Lowry Bronson theory, if the substance donate, that is called H plus and it is called acid, and if it accept the substance is donor of hydrogen ion or a proton, then it is acid. If it is acceptor of proton, then it is base. Let us discuss uh, with examples. If you take uh, HF, HF dissociates and give H plus and here minus. So HF is giving H plus, it donates H plus, so it is acid. So it is acid and then another example we take a urea the formula for urea is NH2 C double bond O NH2 it accepts H plus ion and becomes into here we have lone pairs of electrons on the nitrogens these lone pairs of electron accept this hydrogen and becomes into NH3 plus C double bond O NH2 and this formed ion dissociate and, and donate H plus and comes into urea form. So here it donates H plus, so it is acid, that is lowly bronsted acid, and urea accepts H plus, so it is base. So this is base, this is acid. Here, and if this ion reunite and gives this HF, means here. This F minus accepts H plus and becomes into HF, so it is base. So it is conjugated base. So then it is called conjugated base. And this F minus combines with H plus and gives HF, then it is conjugated acid. 
So this is this HF is conjugated as it for this base F minus and F minus is conjugate base for diacid HF. Likewise, here this urea accepts H plus and meet this ion. So it is basic, we know this base. So not base, this is acid. The acid given by this base is called conjugated base. Conjugated acid. So if it donates the H plus, this is called acid, it donates H plus again and it comes into the urea form. So it is acid. The compound given by the acid is that is base. This base is called conjugated base. So this is conjugated base for this acid and this is conjugated acid for this base. Therefore, in Lowry Brown state, according to Lowry Brown state theory, if it is acid that gives a proton and a conjugate base. And if it is base that accept proton and gives conjugated acid. And also we have to see one thing. According to Lowry Brownford theory, if substance donate H plus, then it is acid. In Arrhenius theory also. The same trend we have followed so that every arrhenius acid is called as Bronsted acid. Every arrhenius acid is also Bronsted acid. But if you look at here in this. Urea, it is according to Arrhenius theory, the concept of basis, the substance has to give hydroxide ion in this aqueous solution, but here the trend is not followed in bronze base. So the every Arrhenius base is not bronze base. So we have we clearly know now what is branched acid and bronsted base and some of the examples for bronsted acid and uh, bronsted bases are uh, already we have discussed HF um, and then water H2O that gives that dissociate and give H plus and OH minus so it is act as acid. So a water molecule is acting as acid as well as base. If it reunites and give this water molecule then it acts as um, the base. And then uh, sulfuric acid H2 SO4 gives 2H plus and SO4 2 minus and it is not the reverse. If it is reversible then it comes into H2SO4 and it is called this is branch state acid and the SO2 minus is a branch state base. And then uh, we have OH minus something we saw. It, it combines with proton and gives water. Then it is called this OH minus is a base. This OH minus, sorry, uh, sorry it accepts H plus, so it is base. And then uh, for CO3 2 minus, it accepts hydrogen ion and gives it CO3 minus. So it is also a base. So these are all some of the examples for uh, bronsted acid and 
ground state basis so now we are clearly about cleared about lowry uh, ground set uh, acids and bases if the substance would get h plus is called acid if it accept is called accept h plus then it is base donor is acid h plus accept or is base according to ground state acid base theory now let us uh, discuss about the next theory lewis theory according to lewis theory lewis theory the third theory what uh, lewis theory says is according to lewis theory lone pair acceptor is called acid if the substance accepts lone pair from that is the compound or atoms acceptor is called as acid and the lone pair donor is called base lewis uh, theory says that is the substance accept lone pair electron then it is acid and if if it donates lone pairs of electron then it is base say for example if we take boron trifluoride bf3 and ammonia in boron trifluoride this boron is electron deficient so we know the electronic configuration of boron so atomic number of boron is 5 1s2 2s2 2p1 so it has given three these three electrons and formed this um, by giving sharing this three electrons and formed uh, bf3 so in the outermost shell there it has or six electrons Only in this compound, here we have six electrons only. So it needs another two electrons because so that it is electron deficient. But in uh, ammonia, there are the presence of one lone pair of electrons. So it is deficient and it is rich in electron. So this ammonia donates. The nitrogen present in ammonia donates lone pair of electron to this and forms a covalent coordination bond like this. So here the donor is ammonia. So ammonia is base. The acceptor is the boron. That is boron trifluoride. The boron present in the boron present in boron trifluoride. So this boron trifluoride is called acid. That is the lone pair acceptor is called acid, and lone pair donor is called base. The covalent formed in this. And by forming the covalent coordination bond is called Lewis iodide. This is called Lewis acid and Lewis base. And some of the examples for this is here uh, H plus. So this H plus is an uh, Lewis acid because it will accept. Suppose We have the NH3. It accepts this lone pair of electron and uh, becomes NH4 plus 
So it is an acceptor of lone pair ground when it's the it is a Lewis acid and this is Lewis base. And we have some more examples for uh, Lewis um, acids and bases. So far we have discussed what is so now we know what are uh, arrhenius acids and bases and lowry brown state acids and bases and lewis acids and bases let us summarize these acids and bases um, we know what is uh, arrhenius acid if arrhenius acid is h plus donor is called arrhenius acid arrhenius Arrhenius, according to Arrhenius concept and Lowry, Bronsted concept and then Lewis. So here acid means H plus donor and base means OH minus donor in aqueous solution. Here the Lowry Bronsted, according to Lowry Bronsted, acid means H plus donor and base means proton acceptor and then Lewis acids and bases says here acid means lone pair acceptor If it is base, lone pair, donor. So these are the concepts we have discussed with examples in this class. In the next class, we shall discuss what is titrations. And what are the terms? We are using it, terms we are using in the titration and what are the types of titrations we have. So in the titration we are using the terms of titrant, titrant and the equivalence point or a end point standard solution, primary standard and secondary standard and if you have the time, if you go into the types of titration we have there are uh, the major four types of titrations uh, we are discussing. One is acid based titrations and uh, redox titrations and then complexometric titration and then precipitation titration. These are the four major categories of titrations in volumetric analysis. We are, we are going to discuss about these titrations in the next class in detail. I hope you understood what are bases, acids according to Arrhenius, Lowry Brown State and Lewis concept. Thank you.